Welcome to the story of liberty. You know, shortly before the Roman legions were recalled to Italy to resist the barbaric invaders, there was born in North Britain a young boy named Sukkot, meaning warlike. The year was 373, and the place of his birth was called Dumbarton, meaning the fort of the Britons. In his youth, as a very young man, at the age of 16, he was captured and carried off as a slave to Ireland. Patrick worked as a herdsman in the fields. He worked hard every day day after day, remaining a captive for six years. But he wrote that his faith grew in captivity, his faith in Christ the Lord, and he prayed daily. After six years of captivity, he heard a voice telling him that he would soon go home, and he became very excited and that his ship was ready. Fleeing his master, he traveled to a port some 200 miles away where he says he found a ship and after various adventures that he took on the seas, he finally returned home to his family, now a young man in his early 20s. Patrick recounts that he had a vision a few years after returning home. He wrote, I saw a man coming, as it were, from Ireland. His name was Victorious, and he carried many letters, and he gave me one of them. I heard the reading, the voice of the Irish. As I began the letter, I imagined in that moment that I heard the voice of those very people who were in the wood near the Western Sea, and they cried out to me as with one voice, we appeal to you, holy servant boy, Patrick, come walk among us. Patrick of Ireland, the great liberty man. Many disciples of Patrick, like Columba, used this island as the base to send out missionaries all over Europe that converted Scotland, England, France, and Germany to Christ the Lord over the next 300 years. We see Patrick's library, or the laws of Moses, being the foundation of liberty the beginning of the end of slavery in a nation for the first time, the proper treatment of women and children, good education of the people, and all the institutions of civilized life that we Americans have grown to take for granted, but that none of the peoples of the world had ever experienced before. The great liberty man, Patrick, of Ireland. Folks, have a safe and happy St. Patrick's Day.